After six long months of intense training, meeting physical demands, studying, and a whole lot of sacrificing, the time has finally come, graduation day. I think, actually I know, that they will be ready for the first day. For myself and the cadre, it's very important that these men and women, once they graduate, they are ready for the first day. There will be an emergency. And they have to have the skill set to perform whatever task is given to them. These guys were not bonded at the beginning. They were strangers to each other. and you could see the development over even the first month as they started to bond, you know. They became more familiar with each other. They, they started to communicate with each other, rely on each other, and realizing that they can't complete this training without coming together as a, as a brother and sisterhood that, that they became. I see a very, uh, a lot of young minds uh, that were molded into exactly what this department is all about, being ready and prepared to serve and save uh, our island and our people. On November 23rd, taking the stage in front of their loved ones, friends, island leaders, and their GFD family were all 45 men and women, and for many of them, it still feels surreal. It was pretty much like the culmination of all the hard work that we've, we've gone through in the past six months, uh, coming in even not even in, in a, a certain kind of uniform, and then we gradually progressed as the cycle went on to be there in our class A's and just uh, in all the glory of, of the, the graduation that it was. It was a priceless feeling, and to be there, you know, with the cadres and our, our brothers and sisters, uh, nothing else like it. We were facing the crowd, and there were, you know, a lot of us had a, a lot of family there to witness us. Really, they were the ones, uh, the backbones, the hard times and just, just uh, them being there, and you're looking at them, they're looking at us, and it was just uh, a great feeling. Just that feeling, looking in the mirror and seeing yourself with the badge, the nameplate, the patches. You just see something and you're like, wow, I made it, I'm here, and I just want to do my job. We don't want to let nobody down. Exactly. Not the department, not the staff that uh, trained us. They, they instilled so much knowledge and discipline where we're like, for the 21st cycle to fail, that's, that's not a question. The newly pinned Firefighter 1s now join the ranks of the Guam Fire Department and as they head into their respective stations, they know the training they received in the six months is a knowledge that will help carry them forward for the rest of their careers. While we're at the station, that's a great time to keep on practicing and keep on training because there's always so much to learn and uh, even the seasoned firefighters, chiefs even, battalion chiefs, they, they always keep on stressing the importance of learning and every day you really can never not learn something new. We are going to go out there and uh, definitely serve the community well and make our cadres proud. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Do our part to give back. Do our part to no matter what it is, uh, whether it be us responding to them or just to help out our fellow man, to be a contributor to our community um, and to try to bring other people along with us and share our blessings. So that's ultimately the overall message that I gave to them uh, during the graduation and, and I'm going to hold them to it. A big congratulations to the 21st Fire Cycle. I know you'll do the island proud. Thanks so much for watching.